Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are uh, going to review something that we've never reviewed before. We've never done it. Like, it's never even made its way into... That would be the point of doing the review is that we've never done it before. It's never been in any part, any any video that we've done. <laughs> That's true. That is so, uh, I lump our reviews and everything else together. So, when I say it, it you know, you all know. Anyways, today's review... He just likes to make me feel stupid about myself. It's not hard. Today's review is over T. Lee. True. Obviously, one of the many sought-after bottles uh, from Buffalo Trace. Funny story is we, we sat around and talked about this before. We actually have friends in our lives who are both named Elder. A couple older gentlemen who are named Elmer. Yeah, there ain't nobody under the age of 60 named Elmer. If and you, if, <laughs> if you are, please send us a message because I'd like to know. If Or if you know somebody, this is a great time to leave a comment. And while you're there, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button True. while you're here hanging out. And here's the truth. Uh, Elmer doesn't even, my Elmer doesn't even go by Elmer. He goes by JR. So that'll just tell you how much he hates his own name. No, nah, the Elmer I know. He still goes by. But what's cool is both of them collect Elmers and they have my friend who's an Elmer has like, I mean, he has like 60 bottles of Elmer. <laughs> I like, think I think my Elmer just drinks all yeah, of them. Sure. Once he gets well, he I mean, has four or five of them, but he's, he drinks a lot of well, them. Well, he only drinks that in Wild Turkey 101. So, you know. I mean, it is what it is. But anyways. I've never tasted this before. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <laughs> well, plus I just took a big chug of it. So, <laughs> so again, uh, this is all Buffalo Trace. This is, you know, we always, we get a lot of messages about, reviewing more buffalo trace stuff those yeah. videos do really well we try not just throw it all out there but occasionally you know whenever we you're like all right well, we'll, yeah we'll spring something out there and we actually had a bunch of y'all ask about it and so we're like fine i guess we'll get into it right. so they have some even more highly allocated bottles of elmer t lee and if you're a fan of it you know like there's some there's some uh heavy hitters out don't there. don't have any of those no i, I guess i could ask elmer for the death bottle or death bottle death bottle yeah because he has that one open Ooh. oh he so, has it open Oh, he has a couple of like he has like that one open. Yeah, I mean, I mean that had, would be a good. Hey, this is gives a sample. totally getting off sidetracked. He actually um, for our advent calendar last year, he said something late to me about giving me a sample. He wasn't giving me a sample out of the single barrel pick that he had. Yeah, it's like from whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> I was gonna say because I don't ever see uh, single okay. barrel picks. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, on the nose. You get a little bit of a, a little yeasty kind of smell to it. I mean, I hesitate to say bread. I think it, but no, there, there's a little bit of a bread, yeah, bread note to it. There's, it's a very, it's like a very rich, like creamy soda, kind of. Yeah, I, I, I can, I can give it that. It's also like there's some soft serve ice cream notes in that, like vanilla. I'd say like McDonald's, but no one knows what that smells like because you can never I, get I, it. I mean, that machine never works. Like, Elon Musk said he was <laughs> <laughs> he was like he's gonna buy McDonald's next to get the machines to work. I mean, that, I mean, if there's if there's like three things in life that's guaranteed: death, taxes, and McDonald's ice cream machine not working. Yeah, so you're so so right. All right. It, I will say the nose on this is very nice. It's very sweet. It's very welcoming. Yeah. Layered. It's really, really nice. Yeah. I'll give you that. I, I feel like you get the, the just the, it's just, like just a subtle sweetness to it. Like it's it's sweet with the I feel like like brown sugary kind of sweetness. Maybe even uh, I feel like it's just soft on the palate though. Like it it's oh it, it is it. it there's it's nothing. It's incredibly an easy there, drinker. Yeah, there's nothing offensive that hits the palate on this whatsoever. Yeah. No, and that's that's very true. And I don't even mean offensive in a bad way. Like, but sometimes when you drink something, you know you're drinking it, and this one doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like that. Oh, yeah. No, this bottle is so easy going. It's easy drinking. There's yeah, not sure. any harsh notes on it whatsoever. No. You know, like there's a little bit of oak, but it's like a really soft oak to it. Yeah. It's just, it's not. Okay, there you go. 
See, I've been sitting here sipping on it. I'm like, man, last time I felt like I drank Elmer, I was getting some fruit notes. I hadn't been getting any fruit notes on it whatsoever. Kind of throwing me off. I think on the finish, the thing that, to me, that stands out is I think it's very vanilla on the backside of it. Just on that finish, I feel like that's the, on mine, that's the overwhelming. There's a little bit of like a strawberry note in there. Also a little bit of like a dry fruitcake note. Um, I, I mean, I agree. I think the, the finish to it is still very vanilla and oak. Yeah. And it kind of, it doesn't really linger. But it, yeah. it, I will say, I do feel like this coats really well. Sure. On the palate. But it doesn't linger. It doesn't hang no, out. No, it, it, it doesn't. But so, at 90 proof, I don't really expect it. Yeah, that you anymore. don't expect it. So, what do you think? All right, so this is where it gets complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where it gets really complicated. I I would never go out and hunt this. I would never go out and pay secondary price for it. I think obviously if you get a retail, I think it's great. Yeah, retail. But, but <laughs> I mean, what are yeah, we retail? What what are we talking about there? Like, I've only in the last couple of years, I've only seen this at retail. I think once, from what I can recall, and I was at a liquor store opening. I was the first one online. And I picked the Four Roses LE. Like, I, I was going to pick that over that all day long. So, yeah, for sure. But let me say that, like, a lot of people will say, oh, you're being a tater for chasing after these or whatever. It's not bad. Like, it is, I mean, you could sit here and crush it's good. on this. Yeah. And, you know, I just, for me, myself, honestly, I would not pay secondary for it. I would not pay, you know, because it's like 40 bucks retail. Yeah. I but, would pay... I would pay retail for it. Sure. I would too. 100%. I'd pay retail for it because, like, you, this bottle, like, I would give somebody special reserve or this, and I bet they choose this every time. Like, yeah, they could. Um, yeah. I, I think just it's, a, it's super smooth, super, mm -hmm. it's got a sweetness to it that really yeah. is welcoming. And so, like, if this is sitting on my bar, I'm going to offer this because I'm going to go, you you may like well or special reserve. You 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 may like that, and it is good. It's you know for what mm -hmm. for what it is, it's good. Um, but I think you'd like this better. But you're just not gonna find this at retail ever. No. I will say going back to the to the bourbon really quick. I normally get a lot more fruit on this one today. I'm just not. But now it's starting to open up a little bit more fruity, and there's more fruit notes coming yeah. out on this, which is nice. I I so I agree. Obviously, I think you can. I think you can actually find these kind of on bars. Hit or miss, mm -hmm. depending on where you go. I think obviously more major population. <laughs> go to Kentucky, find these on bars. I wouldn't spend a crazy amount of money trying this, but if you can find somewhere reasonable to try it, I would definitely try it. Seven or eight bucks a pour, if you can find it. I don't know if you can find that cheap. I'm not. I'm just saying, maybe but you I, might be I able don't know to if you can find that cheap. But if you, you should, should be, be great. I mean, you should be able to because it's a forty dollar. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, true. so I would say to try. I lean more towards not buying it because I'm being realistic here and I yeah. know I'm not going to find it in a store. Yeah. I know I'm going to have to go look for it on secondary or from a liquor store. It's going to charge crazy amount of prices. So I lean more towards not buying it if I'm between the try yeah. it and buy it. Yeah. But I would tell everybody, this is a bottle to me. And I would say it's about a lot of products in kind of that weird range, yeah. like, you know, this, the Rock Hill Farms or, or whatever it might be, that is a decent chunk of money. Yeah. But I and people hunt for it like crazy. But please try it before you actually buy it because it might be like oh, it's good, but it's not worth that kind of money. Especially if you're planning on drinking it. Yeah. But I I will say though I think it is good. Like I, I don't think it's bad. I think it's very welcoming. What I, is, you know, what is it secondary right now? Oh, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. It's probably it's between, over three. It's, it, no, I think it's like between like two fifty three hundred depending on where so, you're looking. Okay, at. so last time I saw it, which was about four or five months ago, I think it was like three twenty five. Yeah. Um. Yeah, for three twenty five, no, no, because there's just not enough to it to, yeah. to to warrant that price. There's just not enough enough to it. Yeah. So, but anyways, yeah. So that's all we got. Should I tell think. them to like, yeah, subscribe, like, subscribe. Oh, that's whenever we were talking about numbers. I've zoned out because <laughs> you were being mean to me. So sensitive. I am. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> all right. Well, till next time. We'll see you. See you.